I remember my parents putting me in my first piano lesson and being pretty reluctant to go to the lesson and then after, as soon as I was finished, I remember being absolutely in love with it. All during high school and middle school, I was a lot heavy into like rock and indie stuff and just all kinds of bands. Never really, never really was into dance music or anything like that. Sort of near the end of high school, one of my buddies hooked me up with a program called Reason. It was totally way over my head, but I knew you could make beats in it, so I started kind of just programming my own beats. I graduated high school and I went to college for finance and accounting, and music was just always there pulling me along. I kind of got to the point when I was about to graduate that uh, you know, I could either continue on in the business world and um, go get a finance job, which, you know, business was interesting to me, but it was never something that I was passionate about. I had just been talking to one of my friends, another producer, and he told me about Icon Collective, which was out in Los Angeles, and I started at Icon in June of 2013. It was Christmas time, about six months into Icon and I was home over Christmas break, and I sent Miss Slander Dude's message. I was like, hey man, I'm working on this new remix, like, will you check it out? And he's like, yeah, I got one for you too. So he sends me the track, and we both had done a remix of the exact same song. So I was like, this is the opportunity for us to work on a track, and perfect time to kind of start the Nightmare brand, and so that was kind of the beginning of everything. You're on your own journey to like achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve, your bliss. And so you have to take that first step out into the wilderness where you know you're not gonna know anything, it's gonna seem really, really crazy. And you know, people are gonna be telling you it's not what you should be doing, but without taking that risk, you're never gonna be able to achieve that reward. So you just gotta listen to yourself and listen to your gut, and if that's what it's telling you to do, you can't listen to anybody else. You just gotta get out there and you just gotta take that first step and do what your heart tells you.